Wow! I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. The last of plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh, breathtakingly evil! These tracks form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kind of hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck. This sounds pretty explanatory. And what she needs is plankton signs. Is a giant target that are floating on your path. I mean, why are the giant targets on your path? I don't know why there's giants. I mean, who set up these signs? Did she have set up these signs? And if she could set up all these signs, why didn't she just destroy the, the horn tower plankton towers herself? And then, I mean, there's a lot of questions you can just make and click and make about. And also, how did you know the giant, like the, I want to say geometry, the geography, the lining up of all the stuff, the angles, to, to be successful in her attempt? I'm destroying the whole entire thing. I mean, there's... Yeah, just, just, just annoying. So anyways, this one will set off the boulder. They'll crush into that. You see, it's extra up there. Well, we'll get into that. Just saying. We'll get to that later. Now we come back with a nice little stretch since the tower's fallen. We can now run into these guys. And get money from them, because obviously when you kill people, you get money points. Killing people is money, according to this game. Why are they teaching kids these days? You now, so this random target, they'll spin that off. Hit that, we'll do a hit that, we'll do a hit that. And make a bridge. Makes sense? Oh, why not? Let's go with it. I have to stop, I gotta stop questioning things of this game. There's just too many. Look at anyways, get keep going down, get more and more manly points. <laughs> That's jump there, kinda like jumped into them. Guess <laughs> the sound when a tub hits someone's face. <laughs> so anyways, you have this nice little misleading stretch of crates. But seriously go nowhere. I mean it looks like there's like a secret passage if you go that way. But there's nothing. So we completely go them. And have nice little boulders that fall from nowhere. Okay. And a little more boulders that fall from nowhere. I'm gonna I mean that no, just let it go. Just let it go. And more I mean this they seriously come from nowhere. I'm not gonna die because I keep looking up in the sky as I'm trying to drive them. Then again I'm not questioning the fact that we're writing that they're writing uh bathtub. Or the fact that there's water in the bathtub that's not falling out anytime they jump at all. Okay, I really gotta stop. Really gotta stop. Maybe eventually I will, but I probably should. Anyways, another random target here. They'll blast. They'll crank. The target doesn't get destroyed. It cranks it for you. Now, if you head that way, you just end up making a loop back around. So don't. It's like if you're trying to look for an extra or something, it's not down there. However, if you see down there, you see a random pathway. Jump down here. Get your momentum carry for you. And to this cave of more boulders falling. I mean, this place has got a problem with boulders. With all these second boulders falling. I like need to get ourselves this problem. And you get an extra. There you go. I think you kind of wind your way upward from down here. Now I think there's like an alternate path you might get down there, but I never really bothered to find it. I really didn't care. Maybe you could like jump from down here or something? I don't know. I really didn't care. And yeah, if I could jump from up there, why do I need to find another pathway? Anyways, you gotta hit the spring. That's, that's not a spring at all, that's a trampoline, and it almost fell off there. Thank you for game controlling it. I knew you guys could do it. Here's your reward. Ooh, another good food. It's not synced at all because he was laughing and he face planted the floor. I mean, how hard would we sync that? Just one scene. You guys took 
a while going down the slide the last time. I like to stop and smell the anemones. And old tires. Well, try sliding quickly instead. If you make it under the allotted time, you'll earn a reward. Hooray for time challenges. Now we have 340. Ain't too hard. Just don't fall off. I mean, yeah, it sounds like a horrible um, advice, but hey. 340. It's the first time challenge, so it ain't too hard. Now, I kind of recommend doing um, time challenges right after you complete the last one. Get the time challenges, the rank challenges, the harder time challenges, the exact same for each time you do this. Because you actually will get more money if you do it right after. Sorry, not money, manly points if you do it right afterward. If you do the stage before, before doing the complete the next story stage, the manly points you get are still normal, but when you complete the next story stage, they go to no one. So these guys just drop one instead of ten. Actually five. I can't read. And always you see up there the boulder you had to launch from last time, that target area. Now if you hit it, it allows you to go ahead and knock and grab uh, extra. Now you can't do it the first time obviously because the boulder's there. So you can't. So you gotta wait until the second mission to get that one. Now basically this is the exact same mission all over again. If you take a jump to the right there you see that kind of pathway shootout. That is actually what the beginning is. Don't jump there. Because I've jumped there multiple times it's like oh cool shortcut oh wait no it's just your doom because you gotta do it again. So don't I don't recommend it. Keep hopping and jumping and skipping and flopping. I don't know why I said that. But eh. So keep on um, moving on, moving on. Dive the boulders appear from out of nowhere. Once more. Let's see, the train? What train? I guess we have a bunch of. Hey, that's another one. Why is there. Who would run a train through here? This isn't like a train track was a little straight. Unless you do the Continental Railroad, which was then caused just curvy because of the President Grant, U.S. Grant Associate. Administration, where in fact he was corrupted. Actually, not he was corrupted, but his party and his main friends were corrupted. So therefore, they decided to feed their own pockets by putting an extreme stock owner owning of the company that would do the Continental Railroad, and then just make it longer. So therefore, they would have to pay him because they didn't pay him just for the Hunter project. They paid him per foot. So obviously, to get the most money, what do you do? You make the most foot you feet you can. So they went ahead and did that. And that's why the Continental Railroad so dang curvy. Then I just can jump this way, and I see I did two of a route that time. And I missed the treasure. Poop. Uh damn. It's medium. I can't I thought it was hard, but it's not it's medium. See up there? Take a path that way and get it. If I could make I could have jumped. I think I could have made it too. Oh well. So I'm too busy with my mini history rather than for you. 305, not bad. Wow, that was fast. Here's your reward as sorry, you don't use the ass promised. I'm sorry, I cut that off. So I just I was ahead in my head, I was like, eh, I don't care anymore. You know at this point, don't care. I wonder where the route for this one will be. For the rings. I've got a real challenge for you two. Whoa! Three-legged race? Spell and shuffleboard backwards? Oh <laughs> no. No. Rings will appear along this slot. You have a limited time to get through each ring. I'll reward you if you get through every ring. Okay, spelling shuffleboard backwards. D R A O R B E L F F U H S. I think I spelled it wrong, didn't I? Board. No, it's these rings. See this? This, this time they start to fade to red pretty damn quickly. However, don't worry and don't fret. Just keep on moving on. You should be just fine. This one will actually tell you how to get the treasure chest. So, eh, nope, 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 nope. Fell for that. Fell for it completely. I was insp I I don't remember this ring one for some reason. I think I did it. Must have been pretty early on in my run. 
because I don't remember doing it. As you can see now, since I'm doing this again, I'm almost to another, another, wow, another upgrade. Because especially those flying boxes, they give you three. That's what green is three, right? Because blue is five. Yeah, green must be three then. So they give you a good chunk of money, even though it really doesn't seem like much. Three is still a good chunk of money. I mean, if I gave you said, hey, I'm gonna give you three dollars right now, you'd just say, no, that's not a good chunk of money. Then again, if I asked, said I'm gonna give you one dollar. Ooh! Ah! Hold on, go faster. No! See, you will get a little bit of flash and then go. See, the point of that is, well, stupid. So I don't do that. First, it seems like, ooh, what a great shortcut! It, it's not really. It's this is actually thing. Now, this one tries to be cool and all and try to go left and then right. Why? I can go straight. Now I just look like a drunken driver. And again, I'm in a bathtub. Now I just look like a drunken bathtub. Look like a drunken bathtub driver. Is there just a, can, has there ever been every, anyone who's gone down the street in a bathtub? I bet there was, and I bet you more they were probably drunk. Oh, I don't know. That, that's just a fake assumption. They could have been soccer. They could have just been really crazy. They could have been mentally insane. Yeah, gotta grab that one there. Yeah, I can get the jump in time. Jump in time. Yeah, what's the point of doing that? This is how we do things in Bikini Bottom. We ride bathtubs. That makes perfect sense. Again, you don't have to actually don't have to jump, but the legs look like you have to jump. It's even more strange. So why don't you just put it normally? Instead of making us jump. Oh, wow! I'm sorry, I'll, go, I'll come back when we get to that spot. I believe that's the ring I fell off on, right? Yep. So let's continue now. A boulder. Stupid boulders that appear from nowhere, come in and appear from somewhere. Just <laughs> me. Yep. <laughs> and that kind of shows you how long it took me to get here. Because now I got another one! Hooray! Just let's FYI, if you do upgrade your health, uh, you. This the health here for the the vehicle sections do not get increased at all. Which is a tad jerkish. I don't know why. I mean, why in the world do they make the vehicle sections um, three? I don't know. Cause they can. Okay, which way are you going left? Okay. Now about right. Yeah. <laughs> Will this all fall into place? Two! One, two! There! Oh, good. I was gonna jump in the corner there. That'd be bad. Okay, grab that. We are almost done! Huzzah! Nice little sharp turn here. And it flattens out. Just drive strand through. And they try to trick you once more. Making on the right. But that is it. That is all she wrote. Great sliding. Here's your reward. How fast do you two think you can slot? Does this answer your question? Okay. Beat the manly time down the slide, and you'll be rewarded. This is the manly time. 3.15, first time, 3.05. Should be, be too hard. Just repeat what I did before. However, I will... Ooh, it might be 10 seconds off the time from trying to go and get the church chest, because I have to pull up to go show that off. Because I kind of showed where it was, but never showed how to get it. And that's kind of the most important part. I could say... The moon is up in the sky, but if I don't tell you how to get there, it ain't gonna help me try to land on the moon now, will it? What are you gonna do about it? And I'm gonna just keep on pushing on, pulling on. I've done this how many times now? So you should have this course memorized at the front of your hand. Actually, at the back of your hand. There, ooh. 
I suppose. Make sure to pull the right here off the course, because then it'll save you a lot of time. Because if you try to do the ring route of falling off, that's kind of stupid. And also a very horrible time side 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 bleh, time management wise. Just keep it moving on. Give a nice high sk hop, skip it a jump. So choke jump. There it is, choke jump. Did long jump in middle school. Was very good at it. I did a standing long jump once. That was weird. Cause he just had us stood there. Basically say, how far can you swing your legs forward? Hell. A distance. And there really is, there's not much speed when you're only doing a standing long jump. I mean, a lot of this thing is from your speed and your lift off. Like the angle of the lift off. Well, you take off the speed, so there goes half the skill needed to do the whole entire event. It's like speed walking. It seems extremely silly. But it's a legit sport. It's a legit Olympic sport, speed walking. He has that really covered. I think it's a legit sport. Legit Olympic sport. I've been told that. And again, shouldn't believe everything you're told, so... Who knows, I never really bothered to look up on speed wa speed walking events in Olympics. So maybe it isn't true. Maybe, who knows? Who knows indeed. Well, probably the person who's told me to. Because if it was legit or not, uh, you probably didn't. Unless he just been told. Maybe kind of like an endless chain of events of people telling other people events. I feel like I should reference Spongebob with the mail carrier. Infinite amount of mail carriers are delivering, getting their own mail delivered. That seems extremely silly, because I'm pretty sure someone, a mailman, just delivers his own mail. If, it's in the, if he lives in the district of his mail. Because why would you have someone else come and deliver your mail when you're in your district? That seems extremely silly. Anyways, take a left here. The left here, however, here, take a left. And I messed that up horribly, didn't I? And I got, wow. Okay, and since I blow the time challenge here, I'm just gonna stumble around until eventually, you know, I get the treasure chest here. You take a, I'm pretty sure you take a left. Then you take this, then you take a right. No, then you don't take a right, you take another left. Now you take a right and then, wow, I really don't remember how to get this one. Hold on here. This way? I am not 100%, no, this is not how I originally got it. But I guess that works. Okay. That works. I don't remember defining it like that, but it works if you want to do it that way. This is the most simple way of doing it. And anyways, I'll meet you back when I beat the time. Well, right around here when I beat the time. At least I'm making it like a like a bunch of takes of me failing. Probably that's what it's most likely gonna be like. Oh okay, yeah, sorry, I gotta finish this stuff that. No, I really don't have to go that way, but hey, it just looks really cool. Anyways, slowly make up your way this long uh, turn. Now, to make one quick correction before this video ends greens are 5 and blues are 10. I don't know why I made it a mix there before. You guys rock, as promised. <laughs> <laughs> You've beaten everyone's time. I do what I can. As do I. Then how about beating your best time?